Uh, I discovered rowing in high school when I was in my form class. We were um, just sitting there and they put it up on the notices asking if they wanted to do, um, um, if they wanted to know if there were any available rowers who wanted to do learn to row and so that's how I got into it. I was playing rugby at the time and I chose rowing over rugby because um, rugby was a contact sport and I'm a fairly skinny guy so <laughs> rugby wasn't kind of for me because I'd get hurt real easy especially with my upper body because I'm quite skinny up there compared to my legs. <laughs> Yeah, it's a pretty small country, it's a, a very low-lying country as well, so yeah, getting there would probably be pretty, really expensive as well because it's a very small nation. Uh, I've been on the newspaper in Kiribati a few times, um, I've made the news and um, after going to Yog last year I met the, um, the Olympian weightlifter David Katoto, which is one of my role models. Been going good. The, I guess the conditions is something I still need to get used to and learn to row with. I was in a development training camp in Omigawa, um, near Narita. I was there with um, with a few other nations, and we just got to know each other and climatizing. Yeah, just get used to the hot weather that's here. Because in New Zealand, it's it's winter at the moment, so the hot here is a bit challenging. Um, there were some rows I met last year, so from world. So I guess there were some people I knew when I came here. And then I've got to meet some new people as well through the, um, the warm down and warm up room. Meet some rowers on the bike machines and just got to have a chat with them. So after the junior champs I get a month off and then hopefully get a month off. <laughs> and then we'll start training again for the Olympic qualifiers next year in Korea. Which will be a goal to really push for.